station where people get high. That's the subculture. Okay? It's a it's it's the same. So you have mainstream culture in Delhi and then they have a place where people get high. That's a subculture. That, that's what it is. We are indicating it with drug use. What? Drug use, drug use. A culture which is a yeah. for drugs. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yes. So actually there are subcultures everywhere. Yes. Even in your college there's a subculture. Yes, yes. Right? right? Yes. Everywhere there's a, a culture. A culture, a subculture is another culture where drug use is okay. How am I going to ask you to stop using if I'm using? No way I can do that. Right? right. So see. in that con yeah. You both belong to the same culture. Correct. Yeah. That's why the TC is also a culture, but in this culture, is about doing right. That's why it's called right living. Right. Okay. We're all in recovery. What? It's, a, it's because we are all in recovery. Exactly. Okay. So actually, the 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 theory is, the stronger the culture, the stronger the recovery. And in fact. The stronger the uh, negative culture, the stronger is your addiction. That is why if you go home and you spend one minute in your, <coughs> your wrong culture, you are, you are done. Yes. Yeah. I'm telling you, you are done. If you, if you go to the wine shop to buy soda, <laughs> not wine. And you meet an old friend and you just talk even five minutes. You remember the pathway? Boom, boom, boom. You light up the trigger. You trigger just like that. You are gone, man. You have to be so careful. That's why they say in a TC to be aware is to be alive. That's why. You have to know where you are. How are you feeling? Who are you talking to? <coughs> you have to know so many things. So if you if you see if you see, let us say, I I like here here. What's your name? Vikas. Vikas, right? Yeah. So if I if Vikas are from the sub old drug culture, I see Vikas. Hey, what's up, Vikas? What are you doing, bro? Then you talk to me. I say, hey, listen, I gotta go. I have a meeting and just go. You don't stand there and say, hey, how's your friend? How's your mother? The longer you talk, the longer you your brains are firing. The, remember the lemon? Yes. Yeah. It's kicking in. It's kicking. You are stupid to do that. Why do you want to ask about his mother? Right? Yeah. You know why I stand here and talk? You know why? Wait, wait. I tell you why. Because I want to relax. Yes. But it's a secret inside here that you have a subconscious. They call it negative reservation. I have talked to so many residents. How do you realize? Oh, I met Ricard. I was talking to him. And then one day he said, You want some? Uh, no, no, no. No, he didn't say that. Why you why, why you relax? Oh, I went to see Vikash because he's my cousin. I want to bring him to Shafa. What? <laughs> you want to bring him to Shafa? Call Ranjan. You don't go there. Because it's a, it's a subconscious. It's a it's a subconscious. You see? So you have to be very very careful, especially in the early part of going home. Listen, it's not that you're a bad person. No. Triggers are triggers. Okay? Now, how many of you wish that you will never ever be triggered again? Raise your hand. 
You wish that, right? Yes, sir. I'll teach you a secret. You want to know the secret? Yes. You sure? Yes. You are very sure? Yes. Good. Go live in the moon. <laughs> you know why? In the moon, there's no bar, no, uh, no hashish, no peddlers, no people, no subculture, no But if you have no money to go to the bar, if you want to live in Delhi, then you better be strong. Yeah. You better you better know how to do practice uh, relapse prevention, which I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. All right? Yes, sir. Um, okay. Is it making sense so far? Yes, yes sir. Okay. What, would, what would those reconstructions recovery say? Okay, I, I'll say that. Ha, this is really. Um, what time is it? Good time. <laughs> Are you guys tired? No, 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 no. I am tired. Okay. Okay. All right. Never mind. So you want to know what this is, right? Yes. Okay. So when you are twelve years old, what's happening to you? Chemical changes. Chemical changes. Well, wow. very good. My curiosity is speaking. Huh? My curiosity is speaking. Your curiosity is speaking. What else? Hitting puberty. Very good. So when you are around, and you know, I've been to about 19 countries around the world, right? Everywhere I go, I ask questions to, I've talked to Chinese recovery people, American, all that. As of what age were you when you first started experimenting on drugs? Everybody say around 12, 13, 14. You know why? Because of the curiosity. Because when you are that age, okay? The body is changing. Your boys, they have moustache, the voice changes, girls have breasts, they have menstruation. There's a in the whole body is changing. Correct. Okay? And they are they are becoming more aware, right? They are what you call externally motivated and not internally motivated. What does that mean? Externally motivated means that when you are 15 or 16, you have a pimple on your face in the morning, you say, oh my God, mommy, I'm not going to school today. Why? I have a pimple on my face. Really? Today, if I have a pimple, that's my least of my problems. But when you are 12, that's a big problem. Why? Because you are externally motivated. Correct. Because you are not, you, you know, you're, you're not developed yet, right? So, um, this is an age where, where, you know, girls, they will wear the makeup, mother's makeup, right? They wear the mother's shoe and they walk like that, right? Because they want to grow up. This is where... The boys, even I did it, you shave, we got no hair, but we try to follow the father, right? Okay. This is where you are very <coughs> um, susceptible to peer pressure. Peer, what the peer think of you is very important. So if you go to your father and your father is very, very poor, and you say, Daddy, I want a, I want a, a, a smartphone. Says, I'll buy you a flip phone. Oh, no, 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 flip phone. All my friends have smartphones. Correct. You know what they will think about me. <clears throat> what will they? You don't care if your father got money or no money. Just give me my phone. That's it. Right? Okay. That's being externally motivated. So this is the time where you have... You, you're, 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 you're not, you're immature, you're, you're growing. This is the time when you go and when all your fathers are talking, they're like, yeah, hey, get out of here, these big people. Yes. And if you go to the small people, they are playing with dogs. Like you are stuck in the middle. Yes. You're not a baby, you're not a, that is why people get very confused. They are, this is psychology here, you know? So, and during this time, 
If somebody, and you have a lot of emotional problem, right? Why am I poor? Um, my exam is coming. I, you know, I wanna, uh, then I have a girlfriend, right? And then, and, and, uh, and then, uh, and then uh, this girlfriend uh, find another ma boy more handsome like me. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> so she go to that boy. Now my heart is broken, right? And I don't want to go to school. I'm very sad. That's actually psychology, right? And at that time. Somebody give me hashish. <laughs> woo! <laughs> like, damn! <laughs> Everything, woo! It's just, you see the, the apple tree? Yeah. The yeah. memory? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first memory. Yeah. I think like, that trigger is burned away. <laughs> yeah. So, there's a new reward. <laughs> this reward is. I don't, if I'm high, I don't care how many pimples I have. I don't care if I have a cell phone or no cell phone. But then, I, I don't care, I'm high, man, you know? Right? Okay, good. So now, then from hashish, they go to heroin. You understand? And that's the time all the five factors slowly start breaking. Right? And that is the time people drop into the subculture. So they wear the uniform, go to school, but they're not going to school. They're going behind the petrol station, the group of people. That's the subculture. They begin to feel comfortable in that subculture. Because in that subculture, nobody will confront you. Nobody. That's why in the TC, confrontation is very important. That's why we, we, we don't confront people in the TC, not because we, we want them to feel bad, no. We want them to be accountable. So if you are sleeping in your room at 11 o'clock, the expediter will come and ask you, Yo, where are you sleeping, man? Do you have permission from yeah. the staff? Yes. They'll ask you that. In the subculture, nobody's going to ask you. In fact, there's one thing they ask you for money. If you have money, oh, well, yeah, you're my best friend. The moment you are broke, I say, see ya, I know, I find somebody else. Because in the subculture, everybody is using everybody. Everybody's like, they will tell you very good things because you got you got more money. And you're stupid, you want to hear the, the good things, you buy drugs for them and for yourself just to hear good things about, about you. Yes. You guys know that. Yeah, but yeah you are the best man. <laughs> <laughs> no 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 no. In the TC, if we say you are the best man, you are the best man. True. Simple as that, you know? So I'm making sense, guys? Yes. yes. Some people stay in this subculture in America for 20, 30 years. They drop into 12, and then 10, like 12. What, what's 12 plus 30? 42. 42. Huh? 42. 42. Yes. 42 years, in and out of jail, in and out of jail. This program, that they talk, in and out, in and out. They stay for a long time. You know? So, when they come out from the subculture to the recovery culture, or they come out, you see, if you don't take drugs, right, in the 12, 12 years, 12, if you're not using drugs, when you have emo when you have, let's say, I have you, I, I have a girlfriend and she broke off with me, right? But my family is strong, so I go home and I'm sitting down, and then the, my mother, but what happened? And I talk to my mother. My mother say, "Come on, man, I love you." Yes. You know, my my sister say, "I I love you." So I I feel strong, and then I go to school, 
right? And I see the the, the boy talking to a, a new girl, and I, hello, how are you? I'm not a, uh, crying because I have family support. Yes, you see. So if if what happens is this, what I'm going to tell you now is probably. In fact, I wasn't planning to teach this, but since you asked, it's probably the most important thing. Okay, when you drop into the subculture. And when you come out, and if you don't have treatment, that means, you see, when you drop in at 12, right, and you come out at 25, how many years is missing? 13 years is missing. 13 years of the social, the biological, biological is also physical, by the way, your exercise, and your psychological, your social, Growth is stopped. It's stopped. <coughs> you cannot be spiritual and drug addict at the same time. Right? You can't. Everything stopped. Your, your school is stopped. The five factor, everything stopped. Okay? What is growing is your addiction. That's what's growing. Right? So that's why Shafa House is here. So actually, the stages is growing up again. Phase one, phase two, phase three. So you do, you go at this, you can translate this. You are actually growing up on a fast track. Like 13 years is shot down to one and a half years. Want to translate that? Treatment mein jab hume stages milti hain, stage one, stage two, stage three. Jo hum 13 saal ka wo gap hai, wo ek saal mein teen stages ke dwara Okay? Right. So, if you are in phase three and you act like you're in phase one, you're not growing up. That's what it means. That means something is not, you're not ready. And especially if you are in stage three and Ranjan one day say no, then something is wrong. You got you don't have the ability. That means you are still a baby. Emotionally. So when you come out at 22, whatever, emotionally, no, chronologically, <coughs> you are 21. But emotionally. That's what it is. That's why, everybody got that? Yes. That's why some people will say to you that you don't have a drug problem. You have a baby problem. One day, I was talking to this guy. And said, why didn't you relapse? He says, well, AJ, long story. I said, no, tell me. I got a lot of time. Well, you know, I met this guy, this girl in the mall. And then we, you know, we were going on a date on a Sunday. So I go, I cut my hair, shave, buy new shoes, you know. And then su Saturday night is raining. The guy told me, raining, big rain, flood, no auto. And then he texts her and says, sorry, I can't make it. She don't reply. He texts her again, no reply. Call switch off. So now he's in recovery, OK? Yeah. So I say, OK, I'm so angry. I had a dream. He said, OK. So you got high because of the rain? <laughs> no. no. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, he hasn't grown up inside. He, he don't have enough commitment to recovery. Correct. Right? Okay. That's why we have phase one, phase two, phase three. That's why every phase has an expectation. I'm sure you guys know that. <coughs> right? Okay. So, but if you, go, if you come out and you go through treatment, then you have a recovery stage. Usually, <coughs> this is 
uh, in the first two years of your recovery. Hmm. So I'm sure that even when during the treatment he was going through that phase, he, he must have gone through the rain also. Absolutely. He must have gone through that similar pain also. Absolutely. But he didn't give it a thought. You want to answer that? Ask the question in Hindi? Hindi. So, so, so in the treatment, he went through all the things. There was rain, 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 there was you have people who talk to you, people who teach you, you got counselors, you fail in a very safe place. Because every time you fail, it's an opportunity to learn. Right. Yeah. It is not the failure, but it's your ability and to use the opportunity to learn something about yourself. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. I've seen many people saying that uh, relapse is a part of recovery. I'll explain that tomorrow. Okay. Okay, so, um, then after some time, you go into abstinence. Abstinence, like, I think Ranjan is in the abstinence phase. You know, it takes quite a long time to... Because sometimes in the recovery phase, people relapse. Okay? <coughs> I'll, I'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, but after a few times they relapse, then become... That's it. They learn so much, and then they move on. Okay? And then you, you continue life goals. You get married, go back to college, you buy a house, have a car, you pay your bills, you be responsible, father, and you continue. Shepard!